Murray, have you finished yet? You haven't even started. Yes, I have. I emptied that ashtray. I'm just having a breather. <laughs> Conditions for being allowed to hold party in joint premises. Item seven, I promise to tidy up after the party. Is that or is that not your signature? Adolf Hitler? No, not really. <laughs> oh, all right. I should think so, because I'm not going to do any of it. It was your friends who made this mess, and I'm not going to help clean it up. Oh, give me that dustpan. You and your conditions. I had half a mind not to sign that. Well, it wouldn't have made much difference, Mr. Hitler. I promise there will be no more than 20 guests. There were more than 50. Yeah, well, it was near enough. I found two of them snogging on our bed. I wouldn't have minded, but we were in it. <laughs> snogging? You promised they'd all leave by midnight. It was four in the morning. You promised you'd keep the noise down. The neighbours called the police twice. Your promises don't mean a thing, do they? No, but I promise I won't do it again. <laughs> you not only signed that, we shook hands on it. And a handshake is a solemn contract, and you should never go back on it. Paul, do you notice anything odd about Diana this morning? You're trying to change the subject. That's right. Only I have a faint suspicion she's not pleased with me. There was something about the way she threw the milk jug at me when I said good morning. Really? I didn't do anything wrong at the party last night, did I? Well, you got roaring drunk, you sang some filthy songs, you pinched several girls' bottoms. No, I'd say you behaved pretty much as usual. Oh, good. Mind you, I did leave after the first ten minutes. Why don't you ask Diana? No, I mean, that's all part of being in the doghouse, isn't it? I never tell you why. You just get the silent treatment. Uh, I don't believe in the silent treatment. I had noticed that. Well, it wasn't our sort of party. I mean, one couple were on the kitchen table and there's food served on that table. <laughs> we're back. Hi. Hi, Diana, look, is there anything wrong? Pig. <laughs> oh, well, as long as there's nothing wrong. <laughs> Better get this stuff out of sight. Redecorating is a magic word. Huh? You only have to say it and men disappear. What a mess. I've seen tidier classrooms. <laughs> the hands, the rotten pig. Yeah. <laughs> Call me oversensitive, but I think Murray's in the doghouse. Are you talking to me? You can see there's something wrong by the way she looks at him. Yes, that's the expression you've got it. <laughs> I can't understand why some men can't notice when their wives look at them like that. Perhaps because they're a bit thick. Yeah, you could be right. <laughs> uh, Marcia, is anything the matter? Of course not. What could be? Oh, well, there is. What have I done? And when? Last night. Last night? Oh. But you said it was all right for you. <laughs> it was. Well, then what's wrong? We always on Mondays and Fridays. <laughs> exactly. Mondays and Fridays. Well, I could arrange for Wednesdays as well, if you like. I'll put it in my diary. <laughs> That's what I'm complaining about. You do everything by that damn diary. You probably put in marks out of ten the following day. They're usually very good. <laughs> Some things in marriage should be spontaneous. Spontaneous? Put it up in the dictionary. Marsha, life would be a lot tidier if people planned it properly. Oh, Paul, don't be so stuffy. Stuffy? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Diana, if you're not speaking to me, why don't you just come right out and say so? Murray McCoy, you're a rotten stinking toad. You are speaking to me. <laughs> Does that mean we're friends again? <laughs> Is it because of what I did with that redhead last night? No, it isn't. What did you do with that redhead last night? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Forget I spoke. <clears throat> I'm surprised you had time. Most of the evening, you were all over that blonde with the dark roots and the cleavage. Talk about Silicon Valley. Oh, come on, Diana. You know, I never look at another woman. You don't need to. You do it all by feel. <laughs> Gordon, Bennett, you're starting to talk like a wife. What did you say? Well, everyone's having a go at me today. And I mean, after all, we're not actually married, are we? Oh, I see. So you're a free man and I'm a free woman? Oh, technically, yeah. You can chat up other girls and I can flirt with other men. That's it. Come along now, we must get on. Oh, Paul, you're looking so <laughs> handsome today. <laughs> <laughs> Muck around with 
with other girls. No, and he's not going to either. Not for the next few months. Huh? It would be in his diary if he was. <laughs> oh, don't take it too seriously. Murray's just got a roving eye. And hands to match. It's different for you. You're married. You've got rights. Mm, especially on Mondays and Fridays. <laughs> Have you told Murray we're making a start on the redecorating? No. He'd probably find some excuse to get out of it. Uh, Murray, would you say I'm stuffy? You're stuffy. Uh, no, 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 that wasn't a request. I meant, do you think I'm stuffy? Well, uh, how can I put this? Yes. Oh, you're just saying that. Come on, come down to the pub and talk about it, eh? Oh, I'm not really in the mood. I've got problems, woman problems. Is there any other kind? The best cure for them is to get legless. Oh, well, perhaps just a quick half. I'll tell Marsha where I'm going. No! You always tell Marsha where you're going. You're too predictable. Predictable as well as stuffy. Just surprise her for once. Just go without telling her. You're right. I'll do it. I'll show her I'm not predictable. That's the spirit. I knew you'd say that. What? Oh, God. <laughs> they found out we were going to put them to work. Did you look under the bed? That's men for you, sloping off just when they're needed. But they didn't know they were needed. That's a typical masculine excuse. Right, it's a half for you, isn't it? That's where you're wrong. I'll have uh, a tequila sunrise. <laughs> but you don't drink spirits. I just had this spontaneous, unpredictable feeling I'd like a change. A uh, pint of best bitter under tequila sunrise. He's pain. <laughs> so what's the problem, then? Well, you won't believe this, Murray, but secretly sometimes I wonder if I am. A bit dull and stuffy. I believe it. <laughs> you can joke about it, but I'm serious. Cheer up, mate. What's wrong with being dull and stuffy? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, only this morning, Marsha said to me that I... Dog and duck, three feathers, lamb, queen's arm. It's not like Paul to stay out drinking. There's nothing in his diary about it. Could you really plan everything? Nearly everything. But you to start trying for a family in two years and five months. <laughs> it was all I could do to stop him booking a maternity bed. Murray never plans anything. He hasn't even taken out hospital insurance. Does he need it? He will after I've finished with him. <laughs> Here we are. One pint of best bitter and a rum and pepper. <laughs> You're mixing them a bit, aren't you? Spice is the variety of life. <laughs> Who was it said that? You. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Marsha seems to think our love life is dull. She says it lacks <laughs> well, why don't you get some? Spontaneity. I didn't think I'd be able to say that. Spontaneity. <laughs> yeah, well, it can get a bit stale if you always go about things exactly the same. You tried reading a book on the subject. Wouldn't it get in the way? <laughs> No, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, perhaps you should try something really new. Like taking off my pyjama top. <laughs> this, uh, this mate of mine, he lives in a commune. You know, they, uh, 
share everything. Oh, a bit like us. <laughs> no, 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 not like us. <laughs> I mean, everything. That's a noble ideal. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't mean that. That's wife swapping. Not necessarily. You don't have to be married. <laughs> well, you mean any man, any woman? As a matter of fact, it's even more complicated than that, but we won't go into that. <laughs> but doesn't it cause jealousy? Oh, yeah. I'm jealous of them for a start. <laughs> <laughs> All the same, you're not seriously suggesting that we should swap. Uh... It would show Marsha you're not stuffy. Yeah. It would, wouldn't it? And it would be spontaneous. <laughs> I agree. Shake on it. Right. I'll just put it in my diary. <laughs> Brandy and bitter lemon was a mistake. I'm surprised you remember it. I'm surprised you remember anything. Only bits and pieces. I remember we agreed to... <laughs> oh, my God! Where are the girls? Going to get the papers. I reckon we're back in the doghouse again for staying out late. And you didn't help coming home with a traffic cone on your head. <laughs> Murray, that little arrangement we made last night... What, you mean the wife swap? Yes, yes. <laughs> it was a joke, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, we're not going through with it, of course. But, Paul, we shook hands on it. A handshake is a solemn contract, and you should never go back on it. But we can't. As a matter of fact, I was thinking that tonight would be as good a night as any. <laughs> I mean, what will Marsha and Diana say about... Oh, hello, hello. It's a lovely day. <laughs> it's pouring down. Good morning, Noddy. <laughs> well, that's who you claimed to be last night with that thing on your head. Yeah, well, we're sorry. We've been bad boys, but uh, you'll forgive us when we tell you what uh, our plans are for the day. Murray, don't say anything. We're going to spend the whole day redecorating, all right? It wasn't my idea. It was... <laughs> oh. Yes, 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 all right. Well, most of it. We uh, have got other plans for later on. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'll make a start then. What other plans? Um, um, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Did you see his face? I thought he was going to wet himself. <laughs> What's so funny? We made this arrangement in the pub last night to do a bit of swapping. What have you got to swap? You. <laughs> and he's got Marsha. Now, wait a minute. Oh, come on. Don't take it so serious. I'm only pulling his leg. What? You know, Paul, he'll never go through with it. He thinks he's being unfaithful if he sits on a warm bus seat. <laughs> but it might just teach him not to go around lecturing people about keeping their word. I don't get it. No, you won't, neither. Um, Marsha? I, I don't know how you feel about alternative lifestyles. Oh, like what? Well, I, I don't know. I, I mean, some people shave their heads and go around in orange bedsheets. I see. First traffic cones, and now you want to shave your head. No, no, I don't. Well, I certainly don't. Good, good. That's cleared that up. Uh, other people, uh, of course, do different things. Uh, for instance, swapping. Uh, this and, and that. Oh, like stamp collectors? <laughs> Not exactly. I, I don't know whether you remember the hippies. They used to wear beads round their necks. Oh, I see. And they used to swap them. Did they? 
Uh, no, no, let's start again. In our culture, a man and a woman are allowed only one marriage partner. I know, it's called monotony. <laughs> and Murray and I were talking about these communists, and we wondered whether we might do the sort of thing they do. What? Invade Afghanistan? <laughs> oh, Paul, what are you babbling about? Now, what I'm trying to say is... I think I should go and help Murray with the decorating. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to. Uh, sorry, sorry. Has Paul said anything to you? No. He's used a lot of words, but he hasn't said anything. <sighs> then I suppose I'll have to tell you. You can start by stripping off that. Be good practice for you. Um, Murray, about last night, I, I know I sort of gave my word, but I didn't say Scout's Honor. Look, Paul, if the idea is embarrassing you, we can drop the subject. Oh, good. <laughs> we'll just get in a good day's work. But don't go at it too hard. Why not? You need to conserve your strength for tonight. Diana's a lively girl. <laughs> but I, I thought you said we'd drop it. I said we wouldn't discuss it. Oh, but what about Marsha? She won't even try a different brand of soap powder. You haven't told her then? No. I don't then think what she'll say. Paul, wife swapping. <laughs> well, I can't see anything funny. What are you going to do if he does suggest it? Well, listen politely, weigh up the pros and cons, then I'll kill him. <laughs> oh, don't worry, he wouldn't have the nerve. He was a fortnight getting up the courage to ask me to go to bed with him. After you met? After we got married. <laughs> no. What I say is that sometimes... Two sex objects. Yes. Pardon? That's the way they think of us. Sex objects. Get a couple of drinks inside them and it comes out. What does? The way they really feel. <laughs> Murray is a sexist. So is Paul. Oh, only on Mondays and Fridays. <laughs> oh, no. I suppose you're right, it isn't funny, really. But Murray did say Paul would never go through with it. Then why not, I'd like to know. Am I so repulsive? Because he won't be up to much after I've finished with this. Still, now you know, we can put a stop to it. Well, not likely. I want to find out just how far Paul will go. Well, you're going to have to tell her before we go to bed, because, let's face it, she is going to notice. <laughs> Murray! This has gone far enough. I cannot be held responsible for a promise I made when I was... Bridge and West. Under the influence. Oh, well, I I'm afraid it's a bit late to pull out now. You see, I've already told Diana and she's all for the idea. She is? <laughs> she is? Yeah, you see, if you back out now, she'll think you're rejecting her. She'll be deeply hurt. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I expect she'll give you a few pointers. <laughs> this is the sort of thing you read about in certain Sunday papers. Oh, Lord. What if they got hold of it? <laughs> oh, yeah. School teacher in sex swap scandal. Yeah, there could be money in a story like that. Ha! <laughs> no, seriously, Paul. Look on the bright side. Marsh is going to see you in a new light. Dashing, sporty, bit of a lad. Wheat-willed, easily led, and a bit of a wallow. <laughs> well, I blame Murray. I think they both need to be taught a lesson. Um, Marsha, I, I have something to discuss. It's rather private. Off you go, then. Uh, no, no, between Marsha and me. Oh, I'll uh, leave you to it. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> um, did Diana say anything to you? About what? Um, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Marsha, sit down. You may not have noticed this, but I had a little too much to drink last night. I did wonder. You don't usually come to bed in my nightdress. <laughs> and uh, Murray and me, we got talking um, uh, about, well, all sorts. Uh, football and um, sex. And we wondered whether it was a bit too dull and predictable. I agree. You do? 
Well, certainly the way Arsenal played last season. <laughs> no, no, what, what I'm saying is... I'm very fond of, of steak and kidney pie. But perhaps it, it would be a good idea, just occasionally, to have fish for a change. Uh, no offence to the steak and kidney pie. I think I see what you're driving at. Ah. I'll get a nice piece of cod this afternoon. <laughs> right. I'll speak plainly. Mari and I made this arrangement that you and me and me... Oh, this is madness. I can't go through with it. Such a thing not. Wife swapping, indeed. You knew? All the time? It wasn't my idea. I know that. Diana told me. It was Murray pulling your leg. You mean he wasn't serious? <laughs> Murray, I've been thinking. I thought he looked in pain. <laughs> that idea of yours, it did shock me a bit at first. Oh, dear, just a joke. Well, perhaps it's not such a bad idea. Perhaps we have got in a bit of a rut. You yeah, what? Well, like you said, you're a free man and I'm a free woman. Come on, it was just a bit of fun. Well, this could be a lot of fun. With Paul? You'd have to make an appointment. <laughs> and besides, you could forget it. They wouldn't agree to it in a million years. Well... Marsha and I have discussed it, and we think it's a good idea. <laughs> what? Mm. We've been too hidebound by conventional morality. <laughs> now, let's not be too hasty. I mean, um, a little variety can make life interesting. Yes. Uh, 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 no, c careful, I've got to paint on my T-shirt. <laughs> Can't we talk about this? In fact, I don't see why we have to wait for this evening. Do you? Anything you say, lover. Now, you just take your hands off with it. Up her. Diana's my girl and no one else is going to touch her, right? <laughs> <laughs> really, Murray, you mustn't be so stuffy. 